Someone has to make that sacrifice. <laughs> Come on, eh? Mmm. Mmm. I think we gotta stop eating, yeah? Welcome to a new episode with Pasta Green and Pasta Bro. Today we are creating a very quick summary seafood recipe. Shrimps and cherry tomatoes spaghetti. Ingredients! We are using a spaghettone. It's a ginormous... <laughs> ginormous! Spaghetti. It's not ginormous, but it's slightly bigger and thicker than the regular spaghetti. First thing you want to do is get your pot of water on the fire, get it boiling. It's going to be a really quick sauce. Five, eight minutes max. So by the time the spaghetti is done, the sauce is done at the same time. We start by cleaning the shrimps. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is grab the legs. You're gonna start taking off the legs and then take one side out and you go around it. I'm gonna take the tail out as well. And all you're gonna have is just one giant, ginormous shrimp in your hand. Pasta water is boiling, we haven't even started. Let's salt the pasta. Now we stick the pasta in. Bam! Today, I feel like I want a lot of garlic because shrimps and garlic and cherry tomatoes is quite the pear. Not the pear, it's not a pear anymore. It's quite the trio. And so what I'm doing here is just really cutting finely. Finely chopping garlic. Finely, 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 finely. We start olive oil, chili peppers, and cherry tomatoes right in. Now we let it go with a pinch of salt. We let them soften up for just a few minutes. I love it because that paste that we created with the garlic cloves is just cream. So it's melting and it's mixing with the cherry tomatoes, the extra virgin olive oil, the chili pepper. You should smell it. It's really a delight, just like you are. Guys, I got an early birthday present. Mandolino! <laughs> Smell. Bathe in it. Absorb the flavors of Italy. We cut a bunch of parsley leaves. I'm adding a little bit to it. It's beautiful. I want you to come and have a look. Come and have a look. Okay, so I'm taking just four or five of the shrimps and I'm chopping them into tiny pieces, maybe one inch wide. I want them to get lost in the spaghetti and the sauce. This only cooks for a few minutes and that's it. You do not want to cook your shrimps for more than a few minutes. It ruins the meat, it makes it hard. You see, you add the shrimps and it literally is a few minutes away from getting done. We toss a little bit of wine, just as they're halfway there. We're talking minutes here, you cannot leave this pot. You add a little bit of wine. Once the wine goes in, we turn the flame up so that the alcohol evaporates and only the grapes flavors stay into your sauce. One minute and it's done. The pasta is ready. Now it goes straight into your pot. It's very al dente, but I'm gonna let it go for one minute until it simmers with all of the flavors. We add a tiny bit of pasta water before we finish our emulsion. We just get it all together and we mix it up. You plate your pasta, you create the nest of love. You add all the elements, a little bit more sauce, the shrimps as you like. Then we create some lemon zest, my final touch of beauty. And then we crown with shredded parsley leaves. And it's just gorgeous. And you know what, this is the moment when we test the labor of love. Someone has to make that sacrifice. <laughs> Come on, eh? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 
you can actually add the hint of uh, the, the wine that we use, the grapes. Mm. That's why I say always cook with the wines that you love the most because not only you are gonna have to serve those same wines when you they use them in your cooking at the dinner table, but also imagine the grapes that you most love into any one of your dish. That flavor is added to your sauces. I think we gotta stop eating here. Thank you so much, we really gotta go to lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button so that YouTube tells you the moment any of our recipes comes out. Stay gorgeous. And remember, you are amazing and so are we! we.